Hi Taurus, sorry to make you wait so long. I probably will be the last time I do that, but look at that. You have, I am abundant. So good things come to those who wait. And I am doing your twin flame reading for the month of June, 2022, or this can be for whatever reason you stumble upon it. It could be a nice general message about love life or whatever. I hope you enjoy it. This is something that I started up last year. I went from May to December with it and then started again this May. And I like to do it every month to help everybody that's on a twin flame journey keep progressing. So I'm using this little chart that I have, this little spread in my booklet comparing the masculine and the feminine back and forth if you want to see more how that works check out that very first video for the twin flames for the month of june the collective reading it's really exciting fun information and good news and you might like that first before this but go ahead and watch your aries reading that's this is for sun moon and rising signs in aries and other placements too I'm not Aries, sorry, Taurus, and uh, I just did the Aries reading, and I have a, a North Node in Aries. Something about that lady's face has kind of Aries energy, but no, she's got the, she has totally the Taurus horns and the Taurus money. <laughs> All right, so we this side is the Divine Masculine, and this is the Divine Feminine. If you're cusping on Tor on Taurus Aries cusp then some of that Aries message could be coming through from Aries if you want to take a look at that otherwise this is for you Taurus so we're using similar but a little bit different decks similar in art styles but different in the way the information comes out and we're using the romance angels for the masculine and the romantic fairy for the feminine and that they're going to provide the general messages so let's start with that. Okay, so for the Divine Masculine and Taurus, Divine Masculine in the month of June, what's the general message here for Taurus in the month of June? Divine Masculines. Ooh, that was fast. Okay. Ooh, forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Very good. This is the first time this one's come out, so this is definitely seems special and specific for Taurus energy. And let's see about the Divine Feminines. What is the general message for Divine Feminines in the month of June? It, Taurus, why did you say Aries? Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and other placements. Hey, Taurus. You could be riding a motorcycle. <laughs> All right. Ooh, honest communication. Someone will be reaching out. Expect a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Very nice. Very nice. That looks like I like a conversation like that. Very nice. <laughs> Somebody get up in close and personal to my in my face. Actually, you know, I'm not a close talker. How about you? Do, how do you feel about close talkers? I, I always step back. Now, if it's if it's a guy that I like a lot, <laughs> somebody that I actually like, I may not step back. I might just let them be close talkers. <laughs> but yeah, this is about everybody else. You know, I like to have my own space. All right, let's see now. Let's go start with feelings. What is Taurus feeling? Divine Masculine Taurus feeling in the month of June. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and other placements. What is Taurus feeling? What is Taurus feeling? In the month of June towards the Divine Feminine or the connection. What is Taurus feeling? What are they feeling? <laughs> These cards are a little bit sticky. I'm like trying to 
Okay, this is good. I'll take this one. Oh, this is so pretty. I like this one a lot. This is faith. So they're feeling this well spring of faith inside them. This just kind of knowing everything's going to turn out just fine. Feeling confident, feeling faith gives you confidence, a kind of confidence, doesn't it? And then it's feel, I think they're also supported, feeling supported by angels, which gives them faith. That's nice. And let's see now what the Divine Feminine is feeling in the month of June. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and other placements. What's the Divine Feminine feeling? Divine feminine feeling towards a person, her counterpart, or the connection. Let's see. Ooh, she's feeling Empress energy. So she's feeling good about herself. And it's funny because a lot of times when I say, What is the divine feminine feeling? I say about their counterpart, the connection, or themselves. And I've been leaving out or themselves, <laughs> but this is definitely, yes, and themselves. And I like the, the moon phases. I feel like she's, she's kind of uh, breathing a sigh of relief that Mercury retrograde is, is over and now we're going direct and things are starting to, to you know, seem a little more, more normal, taking a positive turn and feeling her her strength, her nurturing ability, but you know, also the other uh, other aspects of the Empress is just kind of um, it's almost like a the entrepreneur, you know, having this inner strength and the courage. I think she's feeling a, a creative expression bubble through her. She's feeling connected, maybe to nature. She's feeling abundant. She's feeling like there's inner growth and she's developing new ideas and this renewed of sen new renewed feeling of sensuality you know she's like in ta tapping into that feminine mystique essence i think <laughs> all right taurus good job so let's see now what the divine masculine is thinking in the month of june taurus Taurus, what are you thinking? Ooh, six of stars, success. This is the first time this card's come out in, in all 12 readings. Success, nice. So stars represents wants energy, six of wands. This is the famous person. This is the recognition. This is, you know, you're, you're being honored and praised for all your amazing achievements. You're a star, <laughs> like literally a star. People are really looking at you. So you're thinking, you could be thinking about that about yourself, or you could also be thinking that about your divine feminine as well. Like, so the, the masculines are really thinking this star energy. Oh, and this is so beautiful because this taps right back into the very first reading, which is about two stars shining and showing their stuff. So that's lovely, Taurus. You're tapping back into the main message of the twin flames for the month of June. Beautiful. Let's see now what the Divine Feminine is thinking in the month of June towards her counterparts or the connection or herself. What is the Divine Feminine thinking with her brains? <laughs> what is she thinking? All right, so we have, I've got a few things. So we got the Seven of Crystals. I feel like that kind of is the main thought. You know, I think there's possible dabbling into doubts occasionally, but we're not gonna go there. And I think there could be a change in direction possibly. And sometimes this is a reaction whenever a person has a sad feeling, sometimes they think, then the very next thing they think as well. 
this didn't happen, so I'm going to go do this. You know, I'm going to travel down this road and leave it all behind. Sometimes it could be an impulsive action, and not necessarily, though. Sometimes just disappointments can build up to finally a person deciding to leave it behind. But I feel like there's going to be more thought on this. The thought is a, a different... It's, it's a little bit more mature, and it's a little bit more progressive and spiritual. It's not totally relying on that ego to make that next move, but tapping into spirit and guidance and knowing what to do next. So the thoughts here are, they're about intuition and spiritual truth. She is contemplating, she's anticipating, she's having visions and strong intuition about just things coming into her life, directions to go into, perspectives, goals, you know, not, and Taurus is going to always have the monetary goals strong in their minds, even when they're in a, a romantic connection, even when they're with a twin flame, their worth a lot of the time does correlate with their monetary value as well as well so that's definitely something that they're also balancing in the bigger picture but in total there is it's just a gaining a new perspective and trusting instincts mind body and spirit all of it and looking at life and your accomplishments and things that you're grateful for so those are really good thoughts <laughs> Very good thoughts. And this is like a phase. This is just a transitional kind of phase that these thoughts are taking you. And that's a good thing. And hopefully it takes you into this, into an action, a positive action, and a knowing energy, and positive action. Let's see what the Divine Masculine's hopes are here. What are their hopes? Maybe... Hopes and, fe and dreams, but maybe some fears, or maybe, above all, a sh very strong knowing here. What are the Divine Masculines knowing? What do they know? What is the Divine Masculine? Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising. What's going on for them? In the month of June. This, this deeper knowing, what could it be? What are their hopes? Okay. Oh! <laughs> okay, these are both very good. We have the wheel, which is the breakthrough. And it's like fortune, wheel of fortune, like winning and being fortunate. They see themselves as, as fortunate, but look, the emperor, the father, they see themselves as the divine masculine and in their emperor energy and the divine feminine feels in the empress energy. Isn't that beautiful? Wow, very cool. The wheel could lead us to action too, like that could tap into what their action's going to be. But for now, we'll just keep these together for their hopes and dreams and just their knowing, their inner knowing about themselves. Let's see what now the Divine Feminine's hopes and dreams are in the month of June towards their connection. They have the Knight of Cups. Yeah, so Knight of Cups has come out before and I feel like this is the hero. This is seeing the masculine come towards them and bring them the love that they deserve because they are in their yin feminine energy and the masculine is going to be in their yan energy and be the one to deliver the love, <laughs> to bring it to the feminine. All right, these cards, both, both decks are so beautiful, aren't they? Just the way the artists do their things. All right, let's see now, what is, Final actions for the Divine Masculine, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, other placements. 
What are the final actions? Ooh, we'll take the path exploration. So uh, the final path has to do with going down. I mean, the final action has to do with taking this path. Maybe they've been on this path, but they won't stop now. They're like continuing down this path towards exploring. Let's see. What, let me see what the path it goes with. All right. So the path is the chariot in this deck. And the path is talking about the path of truth that it's saying feel love resonate with you in each moment and step forward. You are always moving towards your dreams. Okay, so Taurus masculine is moving towards their dreams. And it's all about triumph of the mind and making those choices with intuition, like just this knowing that they're headed in the right direction. They, this is about the Taurus masculine knowing that they're going to soon be there, forging ahead with their dreams and desires. And also learning how to balance the, the, you know, the darker thoughts with the positive light and confidence and wisdom. The path is becoming clear. Ooh, that's a good one. All right, so what is the Divine Feminine's action going to be? Let's see. What is the Divine Feminine's actions in the month of June towards her Divine Masculine or... Yeah or towards the connection all right we have let's see what we have here oh the ace of crystals so the ace of crystals is is like a newness it's like a trust i feel trust trust in this this new beginning trust in trust in your ingenuity Trust in your ability to create. You have the crystals represents the stability. The it, it crystals goes with the pentacles suit, and so it's 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 all about laying a foundation, something new and tangible, something that you can put your hands on and feel like it's it's going to materialize. The ace of crystals is about the rewards that after a long journey it's finally getting your rewards for for your steadfast quest <laughs> and you're receiving this this gift it's like a gift it's it's the keys it's like the keys to the kingdom it's stability it's rewards and it could be fertility for some and it's abundance for sure and new beginnings and yeah, definitely um, your investments are paying off. Whatever that you put your time into will finally pay off. I feel like both masculine and feminine have actually put a lot of, of their energy into the Twin Flame journey and they will get a huge payoff. <laughs> Maybe in June, I think there's something happening where they're getting very close to that light at the end of the tunnel. All right, so let's see what your charms have to say. Okay, let's zoom on in. candlestick which represents date night we have sweet cupcakes so a sweetness in the air and the sweetness on the lips we have um ooh, the throne so divine masculine divine feminine emperor empress energy that came out 
Mm -hmm. Divine energy here. And we have the bow, a gift coming through. You have the end to the runner chaser syndrome. Like somebody's actually going to come through. And, and I feel like the feminine's going to be able to feel, to do her be in her energy and her power of receiving. She won't have to chase because the masculine is going to come through with strength and boldness with the swords. And he's the lighthouse. He's been, well, maybe the feminine's been the lighthouse. There could have been a distance, but she's shining the light saying, hey, I'm here. I'm sending out love to you. Can you see me? And the masculine is seeing her. We have peace coming through. We have an ambitious situation with the goat. So the goat could represent uh, Capricorn and also the Chinese zodiac sign of Capricorn of Capricorn of goat or or sheep. And I see either way, I see ambition and like climbing mountains. Ooh, a miracle coming through. And like you guys are winning money or something. This is the bingo. You're you could be playing bingo or some kind of scratch off and winning some money. Wedding bells, wow, or some kind of alerts, like hello. You feel very sure. This the spinning wheel, like a spinning straw into gold. Like like turning anything that you touch into a beautiful masterpiece. And we have the number two, T for two. And the, also the zodiac sign of the pig, which is gentle and sweet and optimistic. And we have the, the saint. Ooh, what saint is this? We have Saint Margaret, who is a patron saint of single moms. An idea. And then we have... The weights, so the weight is all about working out, feeling strong, feeling confident. You've got this. And the Big Ben Clock Tower to me is about <sighs> divine timing, serendipitous events. You know that, oh, you're about to connect with a, yeah, definitely yin-yang situation connecting with the emperor is connecting with the empress and the empress is connecting with the emperor and you have the apple here um health and good food yeah and the number seven and the windmill of the power of air maybe connecting with air signs or just the the energy of air itself is so powerful making changes making big moves but it's really beautiful for both sides no serious major upheavals or or anything like that. I feel like you're transitioning from this Mercury retrograde into a nice gentle phase of learning and growing and shining <laughs> and just being a wonderful person and and getting closer and closer every day to that culmination. Like there is a light at the end of the tunnel and there is the tangible at last you can touch it at last, at long last. It is yours to hold into your hands. All right. I hope you like that. Definitely check out all the other signs. They're all out there now. <laughs> Make it a big pick a card. See, see how you get to be when you're last. You get to, it's like a potpourri. You can choose any, any reading you want to, whatever draws you, you know. So now you've read, you've seen yours. You can go see that first one with the collective, and then you could just pick one that just kind of attracts you. You can also choose one for a counterpart person sign. You could also choose for your rising sign and your moon sign and other placements in your chart, whatever you like. Make it a fun reading and share it with your friends, anybody who likes astrology and twin flame stuff. And even if a person doesn't have a twin flame, you can share it for love connections and things like that too because it could work that way as well all right you guys well thank you so much for being here on this journey with me of the twin flame connection for the month of june and i hope to see you again next month but definitely tune in i have weekly love messages from your person daily dust tarot readings and this monthly reading and a lot in between lots of different pick of cards and collaborations with my mystical friends all kinds of stuff coming up and you're definitely welcome to comment below any topic you're interested in me covering i'm thinking about maybe going into 
a, uh, I don't know, <laughs> I'm feeling like getting a little sexy, I don't know, like, what do you think about that, you guys? Y'all tell me what you're interested in, and, um, yeah, thank you again for being here, and I'm moving on, and I'll see you guys at the next reading. Faith, trust, and pixie dust.